Welcome everyone. Today, we're diving into an important topic that's been making headlines. A recent report by Consumer Reports uncovered some surprising findings about what's inside many of our favorite protein supplements. They tested a range of products and found that more than two thirds contained measurable levels of lead. It's a concern we should address with clarity and calm. The rigorous testing methods revealed trace amounts of heavy metals, a discovery that prompts us to look closer at our daily intake. While these findings might sound alarming, it's crucial to understand the context. Experts emphasize that these products pose no immediate danger to your health. Think of it as a friendly heads up, not an urgent alert. Your well being is our top priority. While there's no immediate risk, understanding long term exposure is key. We're talking about cumulative effects, not sudden impacts. For healthy adults, the current levels in these products generally pose minimal immediate concern. Consumer Reports flagged products exceeding California's safety standard of 0.5 micrograms of lead per serving. It's a benchmark for caution. Some products did contain higher levels, like Naked Nutrition's Vegan Mass Gainer and Huel's Black Edition Powder. The FDA has also noted that more than 8.8 micrograms per day for women of childbearing age may raise health concerns. Independent researchers like Dr. Peter Cohen and Dr. Stephen Luby highlight this as a reminder of broader regulatory issues in the supplement industry. Their advice is clear. Look for third-party certifications like USP or NSF. These seals signify quality and safety. Heavy metals like lead can enter plant-based supplements through contaminated soil and groundwater, a natural process we need to be aware of. The report found that plant-based protein powders generally contained more lead than those derived from dairy or meat sources. Lead can build up in the body over time. It's why awareness and prevention are so important for maintaining long-term health. Pregnant women, often advised to increase protein intake, are especially vulnerable, making these findings particularly significant. Jenna Forsyth, a director at Stanford, advises pregnant individuals to avoid products with the highest lead levels. Dr. Luby also prompts us to consider, do we truly need protein supplements, or are we creating more risks than benefits? It's about making informed choices, exploring whole food options, and prioritizing what truly nourishes our bodies. Thank you for joining me. Stay informed, stay healthy, and always feel empowered to make the best choices for your well-being.